Hello there you guys. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to uh, make your own external hard drive. Well, not make your own, but assemble your own instead of buying a pre-assembled uh, hard drive such as the uh, external hard drives from Seagate or Western Digital or Toshiba or any of those. So, the benefit of um, built, making your own external hard drive is that first you get to choose your own case. So it, right here, I just have this uh, case that I bought at Fry's Electronics for about 10 bucks. So it's uh, pretty inexpensive. And the next thing is you just need to buy a uh, hard drive. So basically the only difference between this and a pre-built one, so if you do the math, uh, this one's already in there. But in this case, you're just gonna buy a separate case, a hard drive by itself, and put it together. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna this is just for the people who just are curious about external hard drives or want a different look to their external hard drives compared to the uh, the ones that you can buy in store such as uh, the Seagate ones or the Western Digital ones so uh, for these uh, it's already made for you so you don't have to do anything just plug and play so let's get on with the tutorial so first uh, you'll get the case and most of the time there will just be like two screws that locks in to the uh, USB port so what you want to do is just remove the uh, the screws on the side in my case um, I have the screws on the side here so I'll just go ahead and remove that yeah this is a very inexpensive way to uh, make an external hard drive so instead of um, paying more for like a pre-built model uh, you can just go out and buy like a separate case and a hard drive so um, as soon as you remove the screw it's pretty much just an empty case uh, nothing in it actually and so you'll get this right here this is your hard drive connector uh, here is the USB port that you're going to be connecting your mini USB cable to and that's just the indicator light to show um, if the hard drive is active or not and basically uh, right here um, I'm using a SATA drive and the way you can tell a SATA drive is uh, if it has a the connector pins like that uh, that's the SATA connector pins and then the next thing is very simple all you gotta do is just get your hard drive uh, here I have a Western Digital uh, 320 gig hard drive so you just basically line up the the drive with the connectors. Oops, my bad. And that's basically it. You're pretty much 99% done. Uh, it's just that simple. So once you have that connected, um, you just pretty much pop it back into the case. And I think I have it backwards because it's blocking the hole. And that's pretty much it. That is 99.9% .9 done. So now all you gotta do is just re screw the two little screws. And there you have it, an external hard drive that you put together yourself. And um, it's just pretty much uh, plug and play. So here I just got a USB cable uh, from my other hard drive. So now the final step is to plug it into your computer. And there you have it. And for those of you who are kind of confused about what an external hard drive is, uh, think of it as this way, think of it as a humongous flash drive. That's all I can say, except um, for a flash drive you could drop it and stuff and it wouldn't really damage it. But for this, is um, there's an actual disk spinning. So if you drop this, uh, chances are your data is going to be lost. So uh, yeah, this has been a tutorial on how to make your own external hard drive. Um, a cheap and easy way to do it. And so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.